Hello friends, welcome to SQL Practical Question Series. In this video, we are going to see how to write a query to convert a comma separated code into its corresponding description. First, let us understand what is the expected problem. So here is a table called service which consists of like two information. One is a service code and a name for each of these service code. For example, a code A has a name called service and hyphen A. There is another table called product underscore service which contains some information about a product. Let us say like product P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. Each product expects some set of services. So for example, P1 needs a service A and C. So the key thing here is that the service has to be performed in the same order. That means a service A followed by service C. Same way for P2 product, the service order is like C, B and D exactly similar to that for rest of the products also there is some set of services to be performed. So the expectation here is that we need to write a query to convert the comma separated code into its corresponding description. For example, for product P1, the service order is A comma C. So we need to write a query which prints the information something like service A comma service C. So for service A, we need to print service for code A, we need to print service A. Similarly, for C, we need to print service C. The key thing here is that you should follow the same order. Whatever the order, the service key is present, exactly same order, the description also has to be preserved. So before start writing the SQL, let me show you at a very high logical level how I am going to write the SQL so that it is easy for us to understand while writing the SQL. Okay, so first obviously we'll be starting with the two uh, table. One is like a service table and another is like a product service table. The first step is to explode the product service table. Explode or you replicate the rows. For example, the P1 we are going to replicate two times because P1 has a service order like A comma C. That means there are two key values in its order. So I'm just going to replicate the P1 twice. Same way for P2, I'm just going to replicate it thrice because the service order contains three code information, C, B, and D. So P2, I'm just going to replicate three times. Same way for P3, I'm going to replicate four times because the P3 contains like four code informations like D, A, C, B. Similarly, P4 and P5, like P5, I'm just replicating like five times. So this is the first step. You will understand why I am replicating in the next step. So the intention of this replication is basically to extract the comma separated strings into an individual code. So in the step two, I'm just going to extract the first value that is A here followed by C. Same way for rest of the products also. Let us take for example P5. So P5 has like D, C, B, A, B, which we are extracting like D, C, B, A, B. That means in each and every row, we are extracting one single code. Okay, you will understand why I am extracting here. The next step, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to join with the service table. That is whatever the information we have, uh, got till now we are just going to join the service table to get the name of the service now you would have understood why i am replicating and then why i am extracting the particular code because at this point it is very easy for us to join with the service table to get the corresponding name of the service for example in this case like d c b a b exactly the code the description corresponding to the code which we can get this is the third step once we got this information now the final step is basically to aggregate the name back into the comma separated value so for that we can use the list aggregation function so the final step is basically to aggregate this information into a comma separated value like this so this is what our expected output so now that we just understand at a high level how we are going to write a SQL, now let me show you the actual SQL. So that now it is very much easy for you to follow the SQL, whatever I am going to write it down. Okay, I am going to start with the service table and the product service table. 
So let me just first take the uh, column name. So instead of star, let me just take the column name. So the first step is basically to replicate the records. So for that, what I'm just going to do here is that I'm going to use the lateral join. Lateral join is introduced from Oracle 12.1. So uh, keep it in mind that the lateral join uh, type of queries will work from 12.1. So I'm saying select level from dual connect connect by level less than or equal to I am using a regular expression count basically to count the number of comma so that it is easy for me to know how many codes are exist for example if there is one comma means there are two codes if there is two comma in the string means that that means there are three codes in the string so I am just using the service order I am just counting the number of comma I am just putting plus one because regular expression count will give the number of commas so we need to add one so that if there is one comma that means there is two string if there is two comma that means there is three code informations three service codes okay now let me just execute it now if you see the codes are actually got the rows are got replicated for example p1 row is replicated twice p3 is replicated thrice sorry p2 is replicated thrice same way p3 is replicated four times now if you see p5 product is replicated five times fine let me just give a alias name l here okay fine uh, maybe we can even uh, take the l in the outer query fine now uh, we just replicated the next step is basically to extract the code in each position from each position for that i'm just going to um, use the regular expression substring in this expression i'm what i'm doing is basically from the Based on the line num row number, I'm just going to extract the position of the code. That means for the first row, I'm just going to start from 0th occurrence to the first occurrence of comma. So whatever is in between the 0th occurrence to first occurrence, I'm just going to extract. Same way in the second row for each product, I'll be extracting uh, first occurrence of comma to the second occurrence of comma. So I'll just show you the uh, regular expression I'm just written here. Uh, this is basically to extract the information between the nth occurrence to the n plus 1 occurrence of comma. Uh, probably I will cover uh, in detail about the regular expressions in some other video. But right now you just keep it in mind. This particular regular expression I am just e using to extract the uh, nth occurrence to n plus 1 occurrence. Okay, now if you see I just extracted the information. Fine. Once we extracted the information, now it is basically to join with the service table to get the uh, corresponding description. So now I'm just joining with the service table and I'm just joining with the, since we have already extracted the code, I'm, I'm using service dot service code equal to like whatever the regular expression value because this contains the code information. Yes, we just join. Now it is just a matter of extra, uh, fetching the service name. Yeah, now I just got the service name. Anyway, I'm not interested in the code. So let me remove this regular expression from here. Same way I'm not interested in, okay, let this, I'm not interested in this level L also. So I've just removed. Now that we just completed the third step of extracting or fetching the name. Let me just put order by so that it will be clear. Order by product name comma l sorry product code yeah product code comma l now uh, we just got the ex uh, information till the step number three the final step is basically to aggregate the service name so for that what we can do we can just use the list aggregation function we need it in a comma separated way and very important we want this in some order right so within group I want it to be ordered by the level whatever we have fetched from the inner query since it is an aggregation fun function use the group by class group by rest of the columns okay the L uh, the L column which I have removed from the select class so I'm just removing from the order by class also yeah now we just got the uh, information for a uh, service order and its corresponding description in the same order separated by comma so this is like one way of fetching the information okay exactly using the same logic there is another way or another type of sql which we can write so let me just copy the exact same sql i'll just show you how to write the another way 
So the second method I'm just going to show you show you is instead of lateral keyword, I'm just going to use the table function. So let me use the table function. So whenever you are using the table function, the expectation is the table function should contain the information as a nested table output. For that, I'm just going to use the cast and the multiset function. So I'm just using cast as sys.odci number list. And I'm saying multiset. So let me just complete the comma part. Yeah. It's multi set. Yeah, now it is multi set. Uh, the default name of the column for the table function would be column underscore value. So instead of L, I'm just going to use column underscore value. So the same thing I'm just using in the where condition also instead of L. Okay, now if you see this query is also very much similar or exactly similar to the previous query. The only difference here is that in the previous query, I have used the lateral join. In this query, I have used as a table function. Uh, apart from these two, the rest of the functionalities are exactly similar to that. Let me show you one more uh, type of query. In fact, this query is very much similar to the first query only. But the only difference is that in the first query, let me just copy the first query also. Yeah. So here is the first query. In the, this query and this queries are very much similar. The only difference is that in the first query, I have used the list aggregation in the outer select statement. Whereas in the in this query, I'm just using the list aggregation and the entire functionality as part of the lateral join itself. That means the entire logic I'm framing inside the lateral join. Apart from that, the rest of the functionalities are very much similar. And by this way also, we'll be able to write the query. Okay, let, let us just quickly summarize our learning here. So this is the first method we have seen. Uh, here we have actually used the lateral keyword and we have used the lateral join uh, basically to replicate the uh, uh, product service table and we have used the regular expression basically to extract the uh, code from the comma separated string. Then finally we are using the list aggregation to aggregate it back. So the second query what we see is exactly the same thing. The only difference is here I'm using the table function whereas here I'm using the lateral join. The third query is very much similar to the first query. The only difference is the entire logic of list aggregation have actually moved as into the lateral query itself. So this is the only difference. I hope you would have learned something new today. If you have learned something new, please like this video. Subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. If you want any questions to be answered, uh, you can drop to this mail ID or you can post in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching this video.